Business news now for you on the programme. For that, I'm joined here in the studio by France 24's business guru. He wrote that, not me, Brian Quinn. Very nicely put, Brian. <laughs> going to start I with... believe it. Yes, exactly. We all do. Uh, going to start with Apple, aren't we? Launching its first new hardware product in nearly a decade. The future of the metaverse, Mr Guru, looking very uncertain. Uh, indeed. Let me hit you with some analysis here, here Stuart. Uh, at Monday's Apple unveiled its new augmented reality headset. They're calling it the Vision Pro. Uh, it's due out uh, early next year. The device resembling a pair of ski goggles with a battery life of around two hours. It will allow the user to interact with digital content by displaying virtual reality elements over their field of actual vision. It will not come cheap. Apple has the Vision Pro listed at a whopping $3,500. That's far more expensive than the Quest headset from Facebook's parent company, Meta. That one's priced around $450. All this while, interest in the so-called metaverse has been waning lately, replaced by tech world buzz around artificial intelligence. Meta's Reality Labs, for example, has lost some $18 billion in just over a year. Investors appearing underwhelmed by Apple's news, with the company's shares losing more than 4% in after-hours trading. Analysts, though, say the headset is not actually intended for the mass market, at least not yet. This price point with a technology that's still, you know, developing, I still think this category is a couple years off, but it's important that they get this in the hands of developers because, again, for this platform to be successful, Apple needs their developers, So, which is why it makes sense to do it at this point and really present the vision of what this platform could be. Another once hot tech trend facing major headwinds now is the cryptocurrency industry. Those troubles deepening as the U.S.'s top markets regulator sues the world's biggest crypto exchange, Binance. The Securities and Exchange Commission accusing Binance of mishandling client funds, lying to investors and dodging regulations. Shirley Sitbon has the details. Pressure is piling on cryptocurrency platforms. This time, the Securities and Exchange Commission has filed a lawsuit against Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange. It comes after another U.S. financial agency sued it in March. Binance and its founder, Changpeng Zhao, are accused of operating as an unregistered exchange of artificially inflating trading values, of diverting customer funds to companies controlled by Zhao, of misleading customers about the risks they're taking. Through 13 charges, we allege that Zhao and Binance entities engaged in an extensive web of deception, conflicts of interest, lack of disclosure and calculated evasion of the law. Binance said the regulator's approach could be detrimental to the U.S. central role in financial innovation and leadership. The SEC's refusal to productively engage with us is just another example of the Commission's misguided and conscious refusal to provide much-needed clarity and guidance to the digital asset industry. Last year, it was the world's second largest cryptocurrency exchange, FTX, that collapsed, and its founder was charged with money laundering, fraud, and securities fraud. Sam Bankman Fried, once known as the arch rival of Binance's Zhao, now himself in the eye of the storm. Let's get a check now on the day's trading action. Asian indexes mixed on Tuesday as a recent worldwide rally starts to slow down. Australian shares are losing ground as the country's central bank hikes interest rates by a quarter percent, that defying analyst predictions. The Nikkei in Tokyo, meanwhile, up around eight tenths of a percent as a falling yen sparks predictions of government intervention on currency markets. Uh, Shanghai is in the red down around a third of a percent, while Hong Kong's Hang Seng Index is up nearly half a percent, just ahead of the closing bell there. Finally, for business, Hollywood's labor woes could be set to deepen. America's main actors union, SAG-AFTRA, voted Monday to authorize a strike should contract negotiations with major studios break down. Talks are due to begin on Wednesday. Actors seeking higher pay and guarantees against unauthorized use of their images via artificial intelligence. Those negotiations, meanwhile, come as a strike by the U.S.'s top screenwriters union. The WGA is in its second month. 
writers striking over deteriorating pay and job security as a boom in streaming content upends decades of industry practices. The two unions showing solidarity as they face off with those studios. Take a listen. Without the writers and the actors, there's no story and there's no one to bring the story to life. So, you know, we're very much uh, a, a collaborative effort out here. No writers, no actor. Stuart, what are we supposed to do? Read books? I, wait, man, dear God. <laughs> me, write Heaven letters, read ben. books. Oh my goodness. Play cards. Who I knows? still remember how to do that. Yeah. We'll do our best. Thank All you, right. Brian. Brian Quinn with the old fashioned business news for us on France 24, our business guru.